Hey everybody, we're back with another update. Live Arena is now open. Um, as you can see, the daily reset, oops, just happened. And, oh, we're getting 500 energy. I knew that was happening, but I still forgot. I shouldn't have claimed that. Oh, well. Um, let's wait for this to load. Uh, we've been making some good progress in the last 24 hours. So, uh, important things to note. We were able to finish the Skinwalkers faction uh, guardian boss um or faction wars boss so that was pretty nice actually um here i'll show you the team that i used uh we used a oh did i put them in the stores already we used a yaga insatiable built here in a life skill or life steel build with you know relatively crappy life still gear i think this is a crit lit rate gauntlet though you can see it has 55 percent crit uh we have a fleshmonger again just built in like a crappy life still set he is level 60 uh we have a um graybeard i actually put him in a bolster set because i was like man i need all this shield gear and then i'm like oh i totally forgot bolster exists and i have a bunch of that so uh yeah i just put him in some bolster gear with uh hp boots and gloves got him up to like what is that around 2400 or 24,000 health um, and then we used a couple of other gray beards around here somewhere. Or are they over here still? Yeah, over here still. These guys uh, also in life steel builds. Um, honestly, this one was really easy with these three level 40s. Uh, maybe even because one's an epic too. The three level 40s and the two level 30s. Um, and just the way it was built, it was no problem. I didn't even have to like manual. I just pressed auto and we got it on the first try so that was fantastic that leaves only two well okay so there's three factions left that we haven't finished three four um well we're skipping undead we already talked about that we'll work on undead later so we're, because we only need to get you know all of them minus one so we can get the boss every day um we have knight revenants already built all the champions or not built but i already leveled all the champions for knight revenant um, so we, as soon as that comes around again next week, I will put, um, some gear on them and we will try and finish that. I do need to make sure I farm a few more rare magic potions so that I can ascend them. I actually did a decent bit of farming of the ma uh, rare magic keep, uh, yesterday, um, to get like, uh, well, we took executioner up, but we also leveled some things like our Galek our spike head and our diabolist we ascended all of those and there's a few more that i ascended oh i need to get diabolist to 40 i forgot about that or is she is she my 40 actually now i can't remember if i it's maybe i actually already have 40 maybe i'm keeping her 30 for now anyway um Oh, wait, no, she's going to go 40, but that's right. Uh, Demon Spawn isn't open until tomorrow. So today we have Lizardmen and we have Orcs. Uh, Lizardmen, we can already clear the boss. Orcs, we're going to try and clear the boss today. As you can see, not all these guys are leveled up, um, but I'm going to try and level them up today. Uh, I've kind of given up on the Ice Golem tournament because uh, there's people with a ton of points in here. They're going to get way more than I have. Um... And so I just don't think I can win anything there. And if, if that was it, then I would just keep farming and like whatever. I'll pick up some of the rewards along the way. But I really want to get this faction war thing under control. Also, we have a champion training event, with this, which is this weird one that gives all of these um, Iron Twins currency. Um, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to farm the campaign. And speaking of farming the campaign, one of the things I can do now is, uh, oh, uh, so one more thing I did last night. Um, I started leveling up some gear from the Artifact Enhancement event, and we actually got pretty lucky. So we leveled up this Barbarian Amulet, amulet uh, for Shield Guard. This is the six-star one that he had that replaced the old five-star one that we had before. So we've got a little bit more crit damage. We also got double roll in accuracy, which is really nice. Got some HP and stuff as well. So I rolled that up for Shield Guard. I rolled up some of the gear on the clan boss team. Notably, I rolled up this six-star Revenge Banner Lord ring. This already had double defense roll, and so I'm like, this is going to be a, a good ring for a long time. I'll go ahead and take that up, because Valerie's one of the weaker champions in the clan boss team right now, and I want to help her stay alive. Um, I'm really unsure if I want to invest much in the rest of this kind of garbage gear. Like, I feel like our clan boss team is maybe good enough just getting Nightmare, and then, you know, we'll do a bunch of spider farming and try and get some toxic sets or something. At some point, we can put them in 
Um, did I level up anything else? That was the main stuff. I think I, I don't know, but yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, we're, we're working on that as well. And then we, we just have been spending a lot of silver, not a lot of silver, but we've been spending a decent bit of silver getting like all of the gear for the different faction guardians. Uh, level up as well. I think that might have been why the Skinwalkers was a little easier too, is because I took a lot of the gear to plus 12 this time instead of leaving it at like plus 10. Um, and so, you know, th that costs a little bit more money, but I'm like, you know what? Screw it. It's worth it. Like, just for not having the hassle. Um, so, uh, where do we leave off? Oh, uh, what was I going to tell you? Yeah, so after I leveled up some of the gear and improved the champions a little bit, um, we can now very comfortably duo. Palace of Aravia Nightmare Boss uh, with uh, Deacon and Shield Guard in the team. So this is really nice because that can get us six-star speed gear, which is, um, you know, pretty good, legit. If we get a double roll on a six-star speed piece, that's actually going to be a nice piece. I, I, Shield Guard is like, board, like, not borderline. He's getting close to being able to actually handle... Um, this stage and some of the other stages as well um but he's not quite there yet so we still have to duo i'm actually probably not going to be farming here today i've been farming instead in um valdemar straits for the lifesteal gear i've been farming lifesteal gloves because i really want to get a crit rate or crit damage lifesteal glove that i can ascend to get crit damage on it that could be a huge huge boost to our shield guard if we can pick up a piece like that and we need a ton of uh, lifesteal gear to put on all these faction war champions. And even with what we've done so far, we still have more champions that we need to put in lifesteal gear for faction wars. So um, I'm kind of just like, all right, well, I'll farm there. And then all the like extra pieces I can use on the faction guardian stuff, especially if I get like gloves i the six star crit rate gloves or crit damage gloves that i want to take to plus 12 and then try and ascend like if it doesn't get the right ascension then it just kind of gets burned but that's a perfect piece to put on a faction wars champion so um i want to farm up some of those but shield guard can't solo that stage either we have to do it as a duo so it's a little bit of a mixed bag it definitely hurts our experience efficiency a decent bit um but at the same time oh, look at this Dude, this is why we farm the campaign. Look at this. It's a five-star speed defense. I'm going to go roll that up right now. We're going to go roll that up right now. Can you imagine if this rolls double speed on stream um, or on video? Come on. Give me the speed. Oh, yes. Oh, it would have been nice. Still, I mean, that's a that's a great, great piece. Ten, 10 speed um, and defense. That, that's a piece I will use for sure. For sure. That'll get used on somebody. I mean, look, that's well, Rhonda has a better piece, but <laughs> who like who might use something like that? Like uh, Spirit Host. She could definitely use that piece. That would be an upgrade for her, actually, probably. Um, same thing with uh, Valerie, actually. Hold on. I'm almost tempted just to swap this out right now. Uh, let's see. That one has HP. She has 10. So this wouldn't change her speed at all, but it would give her 100 more defense at the loss of, like... Let's see what we roll. HP? Yeah. Let's throw that on there. We're getting a lot more, uh, like, 2 and 3 star glyphs now that we're moving up. There we go. Boom. Upgrades. Nice. Make sure I didn't mess up her speed. 227. Perfect. Cool. Um, yeah, so obviously I'm kind of excited that we can farm that part of the boss. Even if I have to duo it, um, you know, it's working. It's good. Uh, so it's, thankfully we got all this energy today, which I hadn't planned on, but uh, it's de desperately needed. So I'm going to... Ooh, Arbiter Soul. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to do a bunch of farming uh, to get uh, the orcs leveled up so that I can try and get their boss done today. Uh, we have demon spawn coming up tomorrow. Do I have... I don't think I've fortied any of the demon spawn yet. So that might be a little tricky. Although we did have a full set of... Um, uh level 20s come out of the sparring pit today so that can help me get uh at least a couple more 40s actually yeah we'll probably be good we'll probably be good especially with all this energy we can probably farm up three level 40s for demon spawn tomorrow um after that 
I think we're on a roll. So we have Demon Spawn tomorrow. Who else is open tomorrow? Banner Lords is easy. And the day after that, we have Barbarian, which we can do. Ogren, which we've already killed the boss in. The day after that will be Skinwalkers again, which we've already killed the boss in. And... Who else is open in three days? Oh, it must be a repeat of one of these. So one of these will repeat. And then uh, we don't have Knights Revenant till next week. And so what I say? It was Orcs, Knight Rev, and Demon Spawn. So if we can get Orcs done today and Demon Spawn done tomorrow, we get Knight Rev done next week and we're done. Um, we're done with uh, any possibility of missing out on the advanced quests. So that is super, super awesome. Um, what did we get in the advanced quests today? Anything... I should care about uh nope none of those boss quests so that's good um there was another thing i wanted to do we did finish a clan quest um and i kind of got distracted and collected it because i was thinking i was on my main account usually i wait to collect these not that it matters um we finished the 200 increase attack so we'll go ahead and spend oh no that's what i did i spent the i spent the um uh, clan gold on accessories already. And I got one that was kind of interesting. Um, so I believe it was Sacred Order. We picked up, I think it was this guy right here. So let me hide the webcam. Haven't rolled this up yet, but it's a five star crit, dam am crit damage Sacred Order amulet with accuracy as a substat. So why don't we take this up to like level eight? No accuracy. No accuracy. Oh, it feels bad. But this could still be a good piece for um, one of our sh uh, armagers, um, especially once we get the other one leveled up. This piece is going to be better, I think, in the short run. Um, actually, it's pretty close. But, um, yeah, we have another armager, and we need a piece like that for him. So at some point, we'll take him up to six star, and we can potentially use that on him. Um, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I think... Oh, there is! Haha. <laughs> I should really like write all this stuff down so that I remember. We uh, had the the Hydra reset today, and I get to open my very first Hydra chest. So let's do it. All right, we got a piece of stone skin defense <laughs> with a <the> speed. <laughs> okay, uh, not great. Uh, accuracy and HP feels bad. Speed on protection. Protection can actually be like a pseudo speed set because the five piece set bonus gives a decent bit of speed. Um, but we got one Mithrala Fragment and we got 200 Clan Gold and we got a uh, Mortal Soul Stone. So you know what? It's a good start. Uh, definitely need to try and get in a clan that's going to kill Hydra uh, pretty soon. So I'm thinking once this clan quest uh, finishes, I might like at least go around and look at some of the discords to see if I can find a clan to join um, that does Nightmare Clan Boss, Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss eventually, or will be fine with me not hitting Ultra Nightmare, um, and then is dropping Hydra. That would be awesome. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to go spend that Clan Gold. So, let's see what we get. Uh, that was a High Elf banner, it looked like. Or not banner, amulet. Just new. There we go. HP, accuracy. Resistance. Not bad. Um, what are we using on our Eris right now? Defense with HP. I don't know. She doesn't need accuracy. She doesn't need resistance. She doesn't need counterattack. So it's like kind of a weird... Yeah, uh, she doesn't really need this. It's not really going to do anything. Um, it's going to drop her defense a little bit i'm not sure i'm not sure which one's better to be honest um they're probably pretty close so oh another thing we have the fire knight tournament coming up uh tomorrow i'm not sure if i'm gonna farm that oh i should probably hold off have i done any tagarina today i've not done any tagarina today i'm gonna hold off my tagarina until after that event starts um so that'll be good as well all right. Are we done for real now? Are we done for real? I keep thinking of new things to talk about. Got all this energy here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to spend that yet. Um, 
I think that's it. I think that's it for real. Oh, actually, no, it's not. <laughs> Another thing. Doom Tower. We finished um, Eternal Dragon. I think I told you yesterday I uh, I had to manual the Nether Spider 70. I think Nether Spider is honestly going to be the, like the hardest uh, boss in this rotation for us. So we'll see if I can get through the next one. I feel like I kind of barely got through this one. Um, Eternal Dragon's really easy. Actually... Honestly, you playing this account and fighting the Eternal Dragon, it made me think, like, actually having a bunch of uncommons to fight this dragon is kind of nice. Because one of the main things this dragon does is, like, put all your skills on cooldown and then, like, deal damage to you based on the skills that are on cooldown. But, like, things like Armager and Shield Guard, like, they have two skills with really short cooldowns. And so, like, that effect is very, very minimal on them because they're like, I don't care. I've my skills on a cooldown for two turns. Like, whatever. Or one turn, I'll just, you know, take my regular turn, and then the next turn I'll get my skill back, and it's way faster than the dragon is putting it back on cooldown. So it's actually kind of nice. Um, even Deacon, like, isn't bad because as long as he's faster than the boss, like, he's going to open with his A1 and his A2, so both of his stuff's going to be on cooldown. Um, and, you know, his extra turn on his... his uh, his a3 like uh, basically he's using all of his abilities on a two turn cooldown they're using all of their abilities on a two turn cooldown the only ones that can really have abilities even put on cooldown that's longer than two turns is ronda and um Broadmoss. so yeah it made me kind of think like oh actually like this idea of just using a bunch of champions that only have two turn cooldowns can be kind of nice for countering the dragon um so yeah i mean on my main i just use warlord but that was kind of interesting so yeah we're, we're still farming there um wait a minute does that thing is that giving me legendary gear? What? I thought you didn't get legendary gear till hard. Oh, nice. Wait a minute. All of these say they're giving me legendary. Am I reading this wrong? Does it always just say that? I thought the little orange icon meant that you could get the, the like, max stuff. Where do I see the rewards? Yeah, I can't. All right, whatever. Anyway, um, making good progress on the Doom Tower. Oh, other thing. I feel like I haven't been talking about this as much as I probably should. Um, making good progress in Live Arena. I don't know what my win rate is. Let me take a look. Can I see? It's in here somewhere. Leaderboards. 34% win rate. Bam! Okay, obviously that's horrible. But um, it's kind of nice. I mean, like, we're still making, like, good progress. We're probably going to get into silver. We're picking up these rewards. Like, look, I'm probably going to get three three-star chickens. I was worried how I was going to get all my demon spawn to level uh, to four-star. There you go, man. There you go. Look at all those chickens we're going to get. We just need to win, what, like, three more battles? Yeah, a reasonable chance we do that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, after that, I think, I think I'm going to actually take up Zephyr Sniper next and see if we can actually get through Spider. I don't know. I probably should have prioritized that. I kind of got demotivated when it didn't work. Um, and I wasn't going to get the record, but it's still, I don't know. It'll still probably be the next thing on the list because why not? Um, cool. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Cheers. Hello, hello, hello. We're back with another update. Um, I didn't turn the sound on today. I have mixed thoughts about on um, like whether or not I should have like the game sounds on while I'm recording these videos. Sometimes it's like nice to have background music, but then sometimes I feel like it's kind of annoying and kind of distracting. So I don't know if you have thoughts, let me know. Um, anyway, we are on day, what? 68, 68. We, uh, have made some good progress since yesterday. Another day has passed. Another faction guardians, faction, faction guardians, faction wars has been cleared. Where is it? Orcs. Orcs is done. Where'd it go? Orcs right here. Um, yep. We were able to finish it uh, using the same strategy that's been working well on all the other factions. That strategy is get three champions to level 40, get two to level 30, put one of them in a shield set and put the rest in lifesteal. Um, we took up a, a Gore Tusk. This is a guy you can get uh, from the campaign. Uh, we took up a Galek that I pulled from a Mystery Shard a while back. Like, actually, quite a while ago. Um, and then, what else did we use? We used... I had one more orc. Where is it? 
Uh, well, we had a tree feller and a pig sticker at level 30. Those were our two level 30s. Again, just like white campaign lifesteal gear. I actually spent a lot of yesterday farming a bunch more lifesteal gear in the campaign. Like, I'm like, okay, I need like 10 weapons. I don't care if they're just like white three-star weapons. I need 10 weapons. I need 10 helmets. I need shields. I need gloves. Well, gloves I have a lot of because I actually have been farming there to try and get improvements to my actual characters. So anyway, um, been doing that. Uh, but yeah, you can see that they're in, you know, they're not in anything fancy. It's literally just gear we got in the campaign. I think it's like crit rate in a lot of cases, but not even always. Sometimes it's like HP and just whatever we have. Um, I did have to manual the orc fight a little bit. It wasn't that hard. Like uh, the first time I ran it on auto, it failed. The second time I basically just A1 cycled and then was able to do it. Um, for those of you unaware, A1 cycling is like where you pause on the turn, uh, like when like the last wave is getting close to dying and then you just only use all your champions a1 so that when you enter into the next uh battle you have all your abilities off cooldown so that's what we did and we beat it oh spike head there's the other uh orc that we used again and life still gear spike kind of nice because he's got this uh boost you can't see it he's got this like uh boosted chance to crit um so he like he can he almost 100 percent crit with that ability but i think ultimately galek is the one that really carried us because the starters are a lot better than your typical rare generally so yeah um that's how we got through it and uh which one did i put in yeah i put the gore tusk in the uh bolster it, he's not really a good champion for it because he's like an attack based champion but he was the best one i had i didn't want to put galek in there um so yeah, uh, today we have another one open, and that one is the Demon Spawn. Um, and as you can see, wait, what? Did I not level up my Hellborn Sprite? Oh no, I missed one. All right, I'll have to go level that one. Oh wait, no, I have two. <laughs> That's why. I was like, I swear I leveled up all of everything. Yeah, okay. I guess I didn't even realize I had two of those. That's nice. Um, yeah, so we've got all the champions leveled up. Uh, I need to ascend this, what's this guy's name? Hellfang? Yeah. I need to ascend Hellfang. Um, honestly, I'm actually kind of tempted at some point to build Hellfang and Hell Spawn up because they have a pretty interesting interaction that I kind of knew about, but I, like, I don't know, I hadn't thought about it in a long time. Um, where, like, Hound Spawn will ignore defense and block damage if the uh, enemies have freeze. And so if you like bring in hell thing they can only use this as hell thing is on the team and he also has a freeze but if you like bring these two in like he can slap hard with this increased defense you look at his base stats well he's level 40 here but he has like really high base attack too like this champion can can nuke an aoe ignore defense like i think the only other champion in the game that has that is like baron um so yeah anyway uh might at some point use him but uh for now we're gonna bust through that and then we'll be done with the faction war bosses on everything until night revenant in six days so um yeah that'll be cool uh let's see what else uh altar of souls we'll check this anything in here that i'm at all interested in not really diabolus could use um tag team arena tournaments going reasonably well i think i used all of my tokens so we're gonna get this energy here um i don't know some people have a lot more points than i do um but eh, maybe we'll get in here somewhere we'll see how that goes um there is a few other tournaments going on there's the fire knight tournament as well that i'm probably not going to try and participate in although i do kind of like this reward um there is the champ training going on and i've made some progress there i think honestly since i have took all of my um faction wars champions all are all leveled up um i think i'm going to now focus on getting my uh zephyr sniper to six star which honestly we'll probably be able to do today because if we look we have three food uh three chickens that we've got from various events and advanced quests and then I've got a bunch of chickens for um, for four star as well. So I have two of these guys that I'm working on leveling up. And you can see we can drop four chickens. We have, what, eight chickens? We drop four on this one. We drop four on the other one I'm working on. That gives us the two five stars plus the three five star chicken. And Zephyr Sniper is done. So literally, we will get Zephyr Sniper to six star uh, very, very shortly. Later today, probably. 
Um, I still have haven't really been using like any of the energy. We've been kind of hoarding energy. I'm not entirely sure what I'm hoarding it for yet. We did get the announcement of the next fusion. I think there's no way we can reasonably get it done because I only have um, like 500 or I guess I have 600 mystery shards. But I I think I probably need to pull at least like 4,000 mystery shards um, to get a fusion done. So I don't think we're anywhere close to that. The champion seems all right, but not um, not game changing. Uh, so honestly, I probably because this account is going to be able to do so few fusions, given that we're only having access to mystery shards. One that just kind of brings in generic like damage is probably not one we want to go hard for resources for. So we're, we're probably going to skip that one, even if we had the resources to do it, which I don't think we do. And it's fragment summon, so there's no possibility of any rares or epics that might be useful. So we'll just be ignoring that. Um, oh, I need to run my clan boss. It's about to reset. Uh, oh, clan quest is getting close to being done. And then we're going to probably poke around to see if we can't find a better team. I need, what, uh, 17 more of these. So uh, I think I only have one team that's actually putting it up. So that would be, what, four battles would be 16. So like five more tag battles with that team and we should be done. Um, so I'll be good. And then I'll start maybe looking around about a permanent, more permanent clan. Do we get anything in here that we care about? Faction war stage without losing a champion. That's kind of interesting, but should be fine. Yeah, none of this should be an issue. Um, I did continue to make progress in the doom tower. We, um, got through the floor 90 Griffin. I did have to, uh, I changed my team up a little bit. So I originally running this team without Armager because I was worried about the Griffin's turn meter drop, but it turns out that that actually was fine. Um, so I used this team. I turned off Deacon's A2 because the, the Griffin will get a massive turn meter boost if you boost your own turn meter and if you try and decrease his. So um, that was not a good option, but uh, it was fine with Armager. Uh, it took a few runs to actually, I had to get like good RNG to get it to die, but we did get it to die. So I made it past then. We'll see. Uh, I think next one is, oh, next one's probably the Magma Dragon. Magma Dragon should be one of the easier ones to do. Um, so hopefully we can get through that. It will probably get stuck on the next Nether Spider, which is going to be like what? After, yeah, so tomorrow, this one might be, might be pretty hard. So, I don't know. I mean, the top reward is a shard that we can't pull anyway. So, really, all we'd miss out on is any potential, like, gems and things. It would be nice to clear it. I haven't even tried on hard. I don't think I could even get through the waves on hard. But maybe we'll give that a shot, too, and just see what happens. Um, I think that is mostly it. Uh, we have that artifact enhancement event, but I haven't really done much for that other than, um, just like leveling all the gear for the faction wars stuff. Um, we did get those three chickens I mentioned yesterday from live arena. Uh, let's see where are they at. Um, right here, we did manage to get these three. How many of these Quintus shards do I need? I think you have to get to like 4,000 points or something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, if we look at our battle log, how many did we win yesterday? We had like a three win streak. Look at that. One, two, three. Are these all from yesterday? Maybe one, two, three, four, five. One half of them yesterday? Not bad. Um, so yeah, uh, you know what? Let's do a live arena match. Well, do we want to do it? It's kind of long. Screw it. Let's do it. Um, I pretty much, you can just see like how I do these. Uh, what I'm going to do is I pick the same thing every time, um, which is I always open with my Broadmaw as my first champion because we do end up fighting a lot of bots on this account. And Broadmaw is the one I want them to ban, and they always ban the first champion you pick. Oh, no. Wait. Okay, hold on. Uh, so we'll throw Broadmaw in. Most of the time we know we're going to lose, like right off the bat, but, um, you know, it works. This fight is going to take a minute because he's going to have to pick. Okay. Um, and then after broad, why, what is with the order? Why are my orders all messed up? Uh, we do Deacon and Rhonda. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to pick Deacon, Rhonda. We're going to pick Shield Guard, and we're going to pick Spirit Host. 
And usually I'm just doing this on my other monitor uh, while I'm either doing live arena on my main account or just like not playing this. Like I press auto. I don't care. I'm not going to sit here and like try and manually use fights because I know like most of the fights, ooh, excuse me, most of the fights are going to be lost just like <laughs> right away in the, in the champion selection. But sometimes you'd be surprised. People come in with all these legendary champions, but I don't know if they're just people who are just like wailing out on shards who don't really know what they're doing. I feel like that happens a lot because you get people with like tons of good champions that are all built like garbage. Um, and you can actually beat them a lot of the times. So we'll see. Um, I mean, this guy is using four free champions. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ban Scylla the Drakes. Uh, this, like, one of the things this team doesn't have a lot of is damage. So anytime we get locked with like a healer or, or a. Um, or Reviver, I try and ban it just so that we don't have to deal with that and keep the fights shorter. Uh, they banned our Ronda. Usually people always ban Deacon or Ronda. Um, honestly, they ban Deacon more than they ban Ronda. But, and to be fair, I prefer they ban uh, Ronda over Deacon um, because having Deacon to come in and open with the decreased defense is really nice. So Deacon's going to throw that up, um, and then we're going to get the increased attack that does nothing because we don't have attack, and Shield Guard's going to slam decent damage um you know what i should have put the block well yeah it wouldn't matter i should have put the um block debuff sub with spirit host here we'll turn off auto actually we can just cleanse this now it would be kind of nice so i imagine um i imagine this is gonna die because who do I want to target? I imagine Visix is going to die from the ally attack right here. That's going to get redirected to ultimate death knight. Okay, let's cleanse this off. So far, so good. Might win this, actually. See, that's what I'm saying. You'd think, like, my team has no shot against their team, but the reality is is actually quite different. Like, a lot of times you win against these... Teams with a bunch of legendary champs, even though you're using uncommons, because they're just built really crappy. We're probably going to win this one, to be honest. That Broadmaw in the um, bolster set is actually huge, um, to be honest, because it, like, it really takes the punch out of their first hit when you have this big shield on you. And, like, you notice they don't bring things like decreased defense or any of that nonsense, so. Man, that AoE freeze is kind of annoying, but it is, we do have the benefit that Shield Guard will pull the debuffs off. Shield Guard is so good, man. I love Shield Guard. He's such a good champion. He, dude, he is, like, one of the sleepers. I mean, I know people know about Shield Guard, but, oh, my God, using him like this is just, like... It gave me a whole new appreciation for this guy. He is a beast. He is like my favorite. He might be my favorite uncommon, even more than Armager. And Armager is amazing. But as for like early on, Shield Guard is just he's just nuts, man. He's got damage. He's got tankiness. He's got cleansing. Like his kit is simple, but it is strong. It's just like you especially like I mean, you know, everyone just thinks about like the A2 and they think about, you know, they they kind of ignore like the um the passive and the like decreased speed and those things end up coming into play a lot all right there you go we got to win nice now who would have thought we go up against the visic archbishop ultimate death knight ninja team with my uncommons and my you know deacon and my broadmaw i guess i only have one uncommon my spirit host shield guard deacon and broadmaw and we win but it happens it happens all the time um so yeah live arena Go well, that's the moral of the story. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I'm gonna stop here. I will pick it up tomorrow. I may, I don't know. Eh, well, I was gonna like if, if I was uploading these in real time, I'd be like, hey, do you guys want me to like record the uh, faction wars fights? Um, I don't know, I might, but it's they're not that interesting to be honest. Uh, but there we go. Um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Cheers.
Hey y'all, we're back. I decided I would actually try and record the Stage 7 Demon Spawn kill. Okay, so it's been like, I don't know, 20 minutes since I last updated. Um, but I have gone ahead and built out the champions. So Diabolist, I still want to use in my 3v3 teams for the speed booster um, to get that mission done, right? The apply um, speed and tag arena mission. So I have her built in all speed gear. She's pretty fast. She is up at uh, 183 speed. I did put her in slightly better gear than she was in before. So she's a little faster than she was before. And she's got a little more stats in general. Um, Hound Spawn is built out in lifesteal gear. Uh, I also had these divine life weapons that have just been sitting around. I haven't put them on anyone. And I said, you know what? I might as well throw them on him because I'd kind of been like saving it like for a future faction wars champion. I'm like, all right, we're almost done with faction war champions. We only have Knights Revenant after this. So we might as well start using some of this gear that's already been leveled up. Um, for Hellfang, we, he's the one we put in the bolster set. I did try and make him a little bit faster than Houndspawn. So Houndspawn's running at 118. He's running at uh, 125. Just with the idea being there that he can put his freeze up before the uh, Houndspawn nukes. Um, I will note that he does have a decent bit of accuracy. He's got 115 accuracy that I just picked up on random pieces. I did try and target bolster pieces that had accuracy in the substats. Um, so that we could get him enough. This is more than enough. I think you only need like 75 or something like that. Um, I guess it helps that he's also a green affinity and we have the max great hall for that. So that makes it easy. Um, yeah, probably didn't even need to actually put any accuracy on him. He probably would have had enough just from the from the um, great hall. Either way, uh, that's his build. Um, he's the HP guy. Uh, and then Tormentor is built in just like crappy uh, lifesteal gear. You know what? Let me take some of this stuff up to at least level eight. Um, and Hell Sprite is the same situation. Hellborn Sprite, uh, crappy life still gear plus eight. I had some of this stuff that was already rolled. As you can see, I am very low on silver. I had like what, like three mil or four mil when we started, and I spent that almost all of it, um, just gearing these guys up a little bit, but worth it, especially since we have six days until we get to the next. Hey, we get 150,000 from that uh we have like six days until night rev opens so we don't need to worry about it but all right that's the build so let's go ahead and see if we can do this oh wait a minute i just realized i didn't think any of them had an aura but actually one of them does hell thing has an aura what is it a dungeons okay no other auras right let's just move them around so that we don't get that warning message um i'm gonna manual this fight um just so that we can go ahead and have all our skills up. The damage is like not bad on some of these guys. Like they are like basically one-shotting a lot of this stuff. Cool. Did we proc a counterattack? Nice. So that's good. She's got two turns on her A2 or A3, so we'll say that. I probably could have left him sleeping, but it doesn't matter. They're not gonna do enough damage to break the shield anyway, so it doesn't really matter if they get to take a turn. Actually, uh, he barely broke the shield on the um, Tormentor, but that's fine. It's the least important champion in the team, I would argue. All right, cool. So we made it to the boss in less than a minute. Um, on this boss, I like to target the boss itself when it does not have um, block damage on it. And then we like to target this add on the left when it does have block damage on it. So I don't want, is this true fear or fear? It's true fear. I'm not gonna risk it. Um, let's just A1. Oh shoot, I should have A1 the boss. Uh, what's this one do? Decrease defense. He has like no accuracy, so that probably won't land, but that's fine. Um, you know what? I'm gonna extend buffs. Nope, never mind. Attacks two times at random. Each has 50% decrease accuracy. One time, one enemy two times. It just block buffs debuff for two turns. Place a dummy buff. The target is under block buffs. Okay, uh, we can't put that up right now, so we'll do this. But we will try and put that block buffs up next time. <laughs> we got the block damage on it, so we'll ignore that. So let's put the freeze. 
We only landed it on one. It actually didn't hit that hard, to be honest. That's fine. It probably didn't really matter. Be or it probably doesn't hit that hard because these guys don't have any defense to ignore anyway. Oh, I should have... Okay, I should have hit that boss with that. I feel like I'm not playing this very well. And I'm also getting a little unlucky with some of the debuff... How the debuffs are landing. So if this fails, we can try and run it again. But honestly, we might be okay. We've got the boss down to half. Still haven't even lost anybody yet. Okay, it's got the block damage, so we'll go ahead and hit Spirit Host. Uh, throw out the increased speed. Okay, we lost Tormentor, and we got the fear again. Um, ah, feels bad. Man, bad luck right there. Oh, come on. I Yeah, misclick. Man, we played this really bad. Let's see if we get through it. It's going to be close. It's really going to depend on what happens with these fears. Oh, nice. You got the counterattack. That's helpful. Uh, okay. And there's only one ally up. It's kind of rough because the A1 decreases turn meter. So, yeah, it's just, like, impossible to get a turn. All right, so that failed. Uh, I think we can do a lot better than that. Let's try it again. His A1, like, hits a lot harder than uh, even his ignore defense skill did. Um, I'm going to target someone else. This will use the worst members of the team to just, like, finish him off. Ooh, ignored shield. Uh, I'll save that. I'm not overly worried about the tormentor being low because he's not that important, and he's gonna get—he's yeah, gonna basically be full health. Okay, I think we're just gonna a one on this first set here, uh, so we don't end up wasting our abilities. Oh, I should have hit the boss. Block buffs up. No luck. Um, do we want to try and extend even though we're feared? Yeah, let's do it. Nice. That crit rate buff is actually kind of nice too since none of these people are crit capped. Uh, we're going to save the A2, A3. I hope I get another turn before the boss takes a turn and fears everyone. I think I should because of this turn meter decrease. Man, we didn't fear the... Uh... Or we didn't freeze this guy again. Maybe I need books in it to have the odds be better. Okay, well that ad is down, so that's good. Let's just use this. Oh, man. Oh, Land of the Weekend. That's good. Weekend's probably better than um, decreased defense on this boss, to be honest, because I doubt this boss has enough defense to really matter. All right, we're doing better than last time. Boss is getting pretty low, actually, and it doesn't have any more block defense or block damage from the spirit host, so we can probably just pound into it. Maybe should have saved that, but it doesn't matter. I think we got this. I think, I think, unless we get really bad luck with fear. Come 
Come on, you can do it. Don't get feared. Oh, you bastard. Spirit House is down. Or not Spirit House, Diabolist. Come on, we need one person to take one turn. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. All right. Bam. Another Faction Wars boss clear. Now, obviously, we're not going to farm there. Um, so, like, we're not going to have to manual it normally. We should be able to get up to, like, usually every time I take this team, it gets up to stage nine. Um, and then we can just farm that. And we only have to go back and do that manual fight if we have a quest to do it. But that is awesome. That means we have one more faction to do, and I think we will have no problem doing it, honestly, because uh, the rare we have from the campaign that, um, what's his name? Uh, Executioner, or whatever his name is, uh, he is actually a really good rare, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and I have like three copies of him. He's a defense base, he puts counter attack up, he's got AoEs. So honestly, I think Night Rev is gonna be hella easy. Um, honestly, this faction might be the hardest. Actually, Ogren's was probably the hardest, um, but this one wasn't super easy in terms of what champions we had available. But cool. Um, super happy that's out of the way. We got six days before we need to do Knight's Rev, so that'll give me a chance to farm some silver. And uh, I'm going to go work on getting my Zephyr Sniper to six star. I'll see you all later. Cheers.